Hello everyone, I'm Will. Welcome to Roll for Crit today. It's another one of our simple unboxings and we are doing Modern Horizons. I was able to get one draft box though. Me and notice I'm not on a green screen because today I'm joined by... There we go. Hello. <laughs> My brother. And one of the reasons why I'm joined by him is because you see while I open these I'm like those are pretty and I like Commander. He can actually tell me why or why not these are terrible in a format. Such as they're pretty and I also like Commander. Now, I'm sure we're hoping squirrels, we get some squirrels, because that's your thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love squirrels. Uh, obviously, for me, I don't think I can come in this, but retro frame sliver for sliver, but I think that's only collectors. I don't know. But uh, other than that, I think Mirfolk God would be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um, the monkey. The monkey. That's right. The monkey would be great. Uh, in fact, I forgot to do this beforehand, because usually... Pull up TCG. Yep, I like to. Should, we'd like to see whatever the uh, the hot price things are because I haven't yet looked recently. High to low, and I can. I should be able to knock out the just cards. We don't care about boxes. All right, uh, let's see if I did this right. High to low, surprise, surprise, top of the charts. Richland. There we go. So yes, as uh, Matt hinted at. Um. Yeah, Here, you, your on. fetch lands are going to be at the top. Scalding Tarn, Misty, the works. Oh yeah. There we go. That'll be good for now. Sorry about all this sudden just. I completely forgot about the the. And thank you, Hoser, giving us the usual seeing us and you fine. I also didn't Hello, adjust this Hoser. window to make sure. Uh, got half a will. There we go. So, but we'll shrink us so people can see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as uh, Matt hinted at, tar, uh, fetch lands, they're all the rage. Though the monkey. Yeah, the monkey's up there. It's its battling with some of those fetch lands, which is real impressive. Cabal coffers, now that would be a pretty good grab. Um, what version of, of the scalding was that top one? The, like most pricey, just oh. retro frame. Isn't that also retro frame, the foil That one's etched. People don't like foil etched. I think it looks better. I like the look of the foil etched better. Well, you know what? That's great for you because that makes it cheaper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like it works for me. All right. So let's actually make sure I choose the right thing this time. There we go. Here we go. Here's our fun little box. And I'm really happy I got it for, for a much cheaper price compared to what it, I think it's it's well, gone down it's, in price, it's, but it's, still. It's gone down, but when we were looking at it, um, it was a good... Fifty dollars cheaper than at like least, yeah, the normal price on TCG. You know, I actually got this way before. I just ne didn't have time to open this store, and it was actually the pre-release and release weekend because we were like, I actually have a game that I can go to for once. So I'm sorry that this is late, I can, but I can physically you know, be around other people. What is this nonsense? I, I unfortunately decided to do that first, so I apologize to anyone in advance who feels slighted by that fact. But first, I, pass. Do. I feel All slighted. Right. What land? Swamp. Swamp? All right, we're going... Uh, I think we'll, I don't no, know where it is yet, so we'll... All right, so we've got this guy. In fact, I'm going to... I was a little worried before, but now... I'm just going to look at you on, yeah. on our screen here rather than being like, so, hey, uh, how's it going over there? <laughs> a nice elf. You're, you're, you're yeah, we're little, sore. Yeah, he's tall. Area. That bird's oh, probably from Innistrad, considering all the eyes on it. <laughs> just look at that thing. It's good. You know, a couple of extra. Nothing. I really hope it doesn't need glasses. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> this is a fun card because this is actually, there is a card yeah, called, um, that. like, Blind the, the Cyclops or something from Old Magic. And this is the Cyclops that got blinded. So yeah, it's like it's like the, the same design mm -hmm. as the Cyclops. I, I, I love it when they do little things like that. Like, uh, remember this? Well, it's back. So. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, you did. Uh, oh, speaking of greed, there's another uh, a Gorg exploit. I don't remember this one. When it enters, you can sacrifice a creature. Oh, and it does stuff. I was never huge on exploit. When did it come from? Personally. I don't remember. Oh, it came from uh, Fate... No, not Fate Reforged. The one after Fate Reforged. Because um, it was cons. Fate Reforged was the past. And then Dragons of Takir. 
Oh. It, I think it came from Dragon's Attack here. I don't remember that keyword like, I think at the, all. Yeah, I think the biggest card that had it was Sidisi, Um, because she had she was like a solid creature with exploit, and if you exploited a creature, it let you tutor. Oh, tutor yeah, for any I card. remember that. Yeah, I think she was the one. Oh, that I love this play. card because I love mirrors and just look at him. He's he's trying his best. He, especially like look at the look in his eyes. Like he, you know, he's trying his best. <laughs> the little boy's trying his best. I I do want. I know no one likes it, and that I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say the card's not even worth fifty cents. But there is a what, that mirror. There is a red white legendary modular guy from this set that. I like. I sort of want to build a mirror related and modular deck around just because it's such a. I mean, modular is good. Modular is good. Well, yeah, non commander though, and that's all I play. <laughs> you can find a way. Um, oh, and this is uh, actually our friend from the box. I had his dark. What's his name again? You were gonna Wait. build the deck around him. He's the one that. Oh, dark on black light. Yeah, that's him. Oh, that's him right there. That's him. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, he's he's old. His whole story is that what a lot of this set is. It's yeah. a, a name and it's very weird, especially now because it's like, yeah, people just summoned Elder Dragons. Yeah. Yeah. Old Magic was crazy. Well, Planeswalkers are like more than gods. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, like, there's well, a modular for me. Uh, oh, Thunder Helix. And I think this is supposed to be like a Lightning Helix play off of. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Power Depot. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has modular. I don't know how I would take advantage of that, but... Uh, the same way you take advantage of Modular in any other way? But they usually come with woman counters. Yeah. Oh, this enters... Yeah, it, it's uh, a land that enters with a plus and plus encounter. I, thought that was I mean, it does thing. nothing while it's sitting on there, but it has it. Uh, and Tumor, let's see. Enter the battlefield, search, and put in your... Gr oh, so it, this is um, Entomb Entomb on sick. Yeah. I mean, it's, Entomb's way better, but... Yeah, but this is still probably pretty good because she's in something with that wands and tomb because you probably would mind another. Well, creature. this is the this would be the budget. Ooh, okay, we got a sketch art Ooh. of one of the modular cards. So look, I talked about modular. The box is like, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> you know, I I mean, I didn't look through all the sketch versions. I'm not crazy about. It, I'll be honest. Most of them, I'm not. I like this one. This one I do I like, like a lot. This one a lot. Um, also, I don't care too much about alternate versions the only difference is when one of them is hard to get like the japanese arts those were amazing but they weren't available everywhere these while they're confusing are available yeah like i'm not in trouble because i only buy my packs in ohio or something you know so like mm -hmm. so as long i don't care about alternate arts if i don't like it well someone else does right all right uh hunting pack uh, oh, storming, storming off those four fours. All right, Sanctifier Unvec. This is part of a cycle of guys of Unvec. I don't know if you know about those. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, with pr pretty much, they don't like red black things. <laughs> uh, this one exiles things from the graveyard and it keeps them exiled from the graveyard. Uh, niche ish, but you know. And no, no land. Damn it. There was a treasure token, though. <laughs> uh, we'll try to go. Hmm. Actually, I guess the sketch I should pull out. That's that's yeah, that's what we're yeah. Pull out that special. All right. But uh, I don't know if anyone's seen those uh, D and D spoilers yet. I showed you from. I think a few more came out since you were. I yeah. showed you. By the way, I told you I didn't like the werewolf pack leader. Yeah. I, I misread their ability. Oh. I thought the ability read if you attack the creature with six power that turn. Not if you attack the creatures with total power six. Yeah. That's a big difference. Yeah. That's what I remember we talked about that. I was like, it's still pretty solid. I mean, it doesn't no, no. flip over, but, but you it's can still you can good. see why I now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's a difference between six total and a specific uh, uh, not even six or more, but exactly six. Oh no, it said six or more. Oh, you misread a six or more. No, I misread it being how one creature has to have six or more. Instead yeah. of you can be total, because okay. total, that's great with werewolves. You're going to have like probably two or three guys and swinging in. That's great. You can have two, three, threes. You swing. Uh, another Arcbound guy, which I, I'm going to love, even though it's going to be a terrible deck. Uh, another Mirror, which is going to be great, even though it's again. Uh, now, this is a great one. This is a reference to an original Red Gargoyle card. Do you know why they made that ref? They're putting this in here? No. Did he have Fire Breathing, the flip of instead of... Plus O plus one. It might have, but that's not why. That was the first time 
they re- reference the underworld cookbook of the person who has the, na- the name that's like the entire top. It's the underworld chef. I've showed you her card. Oh, the newer one. That was her yeah. first reference was the how to cook gargoyle came on that. So that's why they made this version. Okay. And then we got these artifact lands, which everyone thinks are going to break everything. Yeah, they're artifact <laughs> lands. We already saw they artifact lands in, that did break everything. They do come in the so. tap, though. But they are indestructible. Yeah, no. Oh, they are indestructible? Uh, yes, these Ooh. are indestructible. But um, I don't know how much that will matter. Yeah, I don't know. Because, I mean, in the, the type of formats that they break, tap lands are pretty looked down upon. I mean, I hate tap lands. I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. But you have nothing on modern and legacy players right, in terms right, of but for tap lands. Personally, unless it either adds, I, in my mind, like three mana of something. So, for example, the panoramas, that searches, but same idea. Mm-hmm. Or the lands that do have three, or some really cool ability. I don't like. I'd rather put in a basic land. Yeah. Also, because yeah, you're probably gonna get prettier art. Yeah. Because basic land. So now this. Do you know what this is supposed to be a reference to? Um, was he like releasing all the stuff that he phased out? Well, read his ability. Enters the battlefield with turn target permanent card value three or less. What of um. Sun Titan? Yeah, Disciple of the Sun. Oh, I didn't read his name. <laughs> and like, if you look at, I think the original art, he has a big fan thing like that okay. in his back. So, I mean, that's what this whole, I mean, we saw Torment in, uh, Torment's Torment. Crypt. Is a lot, that's what's part. fun about these sets. There are a lot of like, it's almost, they're, they're, they're all Ether egg sets. Except we also get really nice cards and usually filling in holes. Squirrels! They like, what was the, how long have you been dying to get some squirrels? Since like, I started playing Magic, because that was after the point when they stopped doing squirrel stuff. <laughs> yeah, so it's nice. And not only that, they're making two colors, so that squirrel deck of yours isn't mono green. Yeah, yeah, no. So I'm going to pull that out for it's, you. It's black green now. I mean, I'm sure we're going to see this plenty more one. of this. Yes, but I'm sure you'll want it's a common. Uh, and something with Thopters. By the way, we really need to return. If we're doing return to planes, what, the Kaladesh... Amonkhet should be the planes we're going to, not like oh, uh-huh. Ravnica well, and. I mean, Dominary is the only one because that's like old school original. Uh, like Kaladesh, sure, but Amonkhet. There's definitely, particularly with how it got left off. There's easily more story that they could, you know, make up. Well, I also love the Red God. So well, and, and that's the thing, like you know, survived. it's it's like you know, war torn. That they just finish this big war, the Red God's the only one left, and it's like, how do they rebuild from that? I just, is, is There's, you know, a wealth of story that could want, be told I just that. don't want plane, huge planes, multi-planeswalker shenanigans. I'm done with Bolas. I don't care about overarching stories. You I like know, little self-contained things. You know my opinion Speaking on Bolas. Which, Speaking of which, one of his uh, little soldiers we got here, and a mass, something that I'm sure many people do. I care. Have you ever seen a mass in play? No! <laughs> no one has. <laughs> no one has. So for such a large army, they're just not in existence. No one plays a mass. Uh, th- now, this is, looks like a nice old card. Is this a remake? Sea or- Drake? Yeah, is this a reprint? I think this is one of the reprint slots. Turn to blue. Um, I don't know. I think that's a reprint. Might be. I- I'm not familiar. Because I'm pretty sure both of these. Ooh. Huh. Prowess. Nice. Shamans. I know Shaman is the type oh, of one I'm always worried the about. Trigger. What? No. Well, like, because I remember the in this set, there's the Goblin Hierarch, who's a Goblin Shaman. Everyone thinks that's... Re- I don't know if there was an old set, maybe Lorewind or something, that did a lot with Shamans. But people thinking that's like, we want Shamans to come back big. That seems to be like... I think after Squirrels. It's one of those types people want a yeah. lot of tribal support yeah, for. That, that's and I'm not disagreeing one. with it. Um, I'm just curious, because I was wondering if... It, like squirrels, I know was Odyssey. I think was there when they were messing when squirrel decks. Pretty much like way, yeah, way back then. Like, um, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you know when shamans were, if shamans, if or ever have been uh, running a. The only, the only shaman I can think of, and I think he's a shaman. Mm-hmm. Um, he was a guy who would. Um, he was a green creature. I forget his name, but what he'd do is you'd like tap him to, um. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you revealed a land. 
mm -hmm. and then you put all cards uh and then like you put the land into play and all other cards revealed this way into your graveyard this is the type i want support for <laughs> yeah it's kieran's i'd love there's to not even like there's probably like what 10 maybe yeah not much but like what he would do is so it would be like all right you you dig until you find a land everything else goes to graveyard and what people would do is they'd make a deck with no lands and purely use them to flip their entire deck into their graveyard and then shenanigans ensue uh, I just love this card because it's removed something from the field because a big lizard ate it. Yeah. He went num num num. No, 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 no. All right. Uh, <laughs> and there's your big lizard. Yeah, except this is like, I'm sure this will cause no problems. I mean, you uh. you type the words affinity for artifacts on a card, you're asking for trouble. This is just a better mirror enforcer, I think. I think that's the card that has affinity for artifacts. It's a 4-4. Four, four. I forget. You can also find those artifact lands. Yeah. No, I mean, that's the kind of card where unless you draw it, if you're playing an affinity deck, unless you draw mm -hmm. it late game, you're never actually casting it. <laughs> you're only ever casting that card if you're casting it for zero. I guess, yeah, that counts as casting. Yeah, because the affinity for artifacts thing. Yeah, this is such a weird card to me. Why? Just because I, I like, what, so they're giving things, everything wings? Yeah. Or making it into a beast? It's Simic. Of course they mess with creatures in weird ways. Another weird steel creature. This whole... Damn. So many weird just chrome plate. This is the 80s set. There's like half this deck chrome it, plated it, creatures. You, you know underneath... Or, diamond, or the diamond lion too. Yeah. You know underneath that is just a totally regular camel that someone just chrome plated. Oh yeah. Just like um the the unicorn from uh, Borderlands. Uh, fun classic with burner. Oh, well, that's the stream, folks. We're done. We're done. We have finished. All right, so uh, <laughs> I'm still out. Um, it was nice knowing you guys. Uh, uh, we're going to cash out. Okay, <laughs> so I guess it's time. That is the third most expensive card in the set. To look at how much that Market cost. price, 80 bucks, as low as 76 <laughs> Oh my god! Help! That happened. Well, I don't, uh, I don't, I, I don't, I'm, I'm actually angry. We're, we're not topping that. Happened. No, unless you pull retro frame scalding tarn or misty. Whoops! All retro frame fetch lands. Yeah, that'll happen. Oh that'll my happen. god! Look at him in his glory, Matt. You're just like, yoink. I'm like, well, I'm like, now I have to make a deck for him. <laughs> oh, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I'm legally obligated at this point. I thought you were already legally obligated. It's a monkey. Yeah, but I wasn't going to pay $70 for him. But now. Yeah, but now I'm pretty sure I'm like legally and or not even just, or just and contractually obligated. Look at that. This is this. Once again, why we don't want frames. More art yeah, is it's better. so pretty. Also. You got a monkey staring at a vial that you know he has no idea what that vial does, but he looks like he's understanding of it. He's like, yes, yeah, you know I that? know what this is. I see what's going on here. Meanwhile, his head is just... Yeah, pretty color. Matt, you have a Hound of Conda deck, which is another yeah. one-drop card. Yeah, it'll be... Now you have this. It'll be Puppy versus Monkey. Who will win? No, you got to combine them with Puppy Monkey Baby. Do you know about that Mountain Dew commercial? No, no, no I, I do. I'm just trying to think of who would be Baby. Uh, oh, the Cobalt. No, Child of Alara. No, no, no. We got to keep it with one drops. It can't be It can't be more than one. Child of Alara is literally a baby. Yeah, but Child of Alara is weird. and. Yes, it's weird. That's why I put my head down because I was realized I that's the only option for Baby. I think they changed the commander rule so it would actually trigger now. Yeah, no, it does. So you, it didn't used to. I'm, I want to just keep them. Well, it, God, I can't it believe third was would, that pack freaking three. It would trigger, but you had to choose to, you know, to let it go to the graveyard. No, I think now you it can return to the command zone and it'll still trigger. No, no, I know. I'm just saying oh. before. Yeah, but you don't want, never want to do that. No, I had a friend who built the deck around it. I did too, and I hated it. 
oh, I hated his deck. It was built to just constantly recur Child of Alara and then play Nico old school Nico Bolas and grind us out with Bolas ult. Oh, I tried to do which would take hours. I just tried to do Spirit Tribal. It just turned out to me board wiping every time because then all my stuff wasn't nearly as competitive as everyone else's. Yeah, but he killed everything but Walker's Whales, so. Matt. He would he would he would just grind us out with bolus ults mm -hmm. and it just turned into all of you sit there for two hours waiting for your death. You don't get to do anything. You don't get to play anything. But you gotta sit there and wait for your death. But Matt, we could use whales. Whale. Well, whale then. Infinity for artifacts. Yes. Unholy heat. Evil heat. Not that good heat though. Lens plan. Oh, uh, the bane of our existence here, especially with Jonathan's glasses. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm like, you got rid of your glasses a long time ago. I did, and I'm pretty happy with it, I think. Yeah. I hope. I don't know. Maybe I look better with glasses. Discard a food? Oh, no. No. Sorry. Discard a card. I, I actually read it as discard a food. Like, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, are, 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 we, are we shooting food over the walls or something? No. Clear, look at the picture. We're shooting goblins. Mm, that's also food. You always fling goblins. Said and done. I don't think I've ever remembered the same color spread of this. I know this is old one. It's a very sassy card. Said and done. Mm -hmm. Said it, it, and I'm done. Titan. Ooh, I know a lot of people love this card. I don't know why. Probably some weird combo stuff that I don't. Man, yeah, probably. Okay. Ah, solitude, nice. Solitude. So I like another solitude. Mythic. Oh, squirrel token. Squirrels. All right, so let's just. I don't think it's going to be much, but we will check since it's mythic. Um, the art on the back of this token. Full art solitudes up there. Well, full art. We have one still. That's, that's pretty pricey. Uh, we have made. Oh, here, move over a little bit. Okay. We have made uh, half of this box, give or take, in two. Yeah, packs. pull three more of these Ragavan promos, and we'll make the actual cost of the box. Uh, if we do that, I think we'll be, like, arrested by wizards. <laughs> People just know that we have fake box. I was going to say, the, the so the art on the back of... Um, of this, there we go. There's, there's the camera. Uh, so that's supposed to be Kaya. For some reason, you know who, what her art reminds me of? What? Um, bring on the name of the cartoon. It was an old late night adult swim cartoon. Um... The two main characters are these two kid, two um, like Boondock I mean, Saints. I think that's, that's the name of the movie. Boondock. But, sorry. Yeah, yeah, Boondock. Yeah, I, 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 my brain heard that and kept going. Yeah, it for some reason her art reminds me of that. I mean, oh, like specifically <laughs> one of the brothers. I think you like this squirrel. But no, read the. Oh, it's so shiny. It's so shiny. <laughs> it's so shiny. I think this box is gonna just be all stuff for you. I mean, I am the one who purchased it technically. So no, you sent it to me. I did buy it. Oh, I thought I actually. No, 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 no. That was a different. That was um, I think oh, the one before. That's true. No, no, I did actually. Well, I found it. <laughs> uh, apparently, it's revolutionary to remember something from the past. Because you know, you know, crazy red revolutionists. They're known for being intellectuals and reading books. Kitchen imp. Something else. Another bad deck I'm going to make. A kitchen. Ooh. Old border. This is actually supposed to be, I believe, the forging of the uh, Black Blade. The original forging, not the oh. new one when Gideon gets it. So that's cool. Tragic Fall. Not to be confused with, uh, what was it Tragic Push? Or Fatal Push? Fatal Push. Fatal Push. Fatal Push was an excellent. Oh, card. there you go, Matt. Another one of them. Too good of a card. I would say it was bordering on. I I, I don't say if it was. I'm not. I, I, I say jokingly. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't quite say it was too good, but it was an incredibly powerful card. Mm -hmm. Um, I do know that when we were at a uh, like, it was a card that scaled well to other formats. We were at an um like a get together for what, back when we had the store, mm -hmm. and we uh they had different tables where you try out different games. And there's a magic people there, and they're like, "All right, let's try some magic draft, opening packs, and doing draft things, and like playing it." Like, yeah. And me and I'm there with Jonathan and Ivan, and I know all this stuff. I'm like, "All right, open these packs. Nothing good." And then Ivan, pull... Ivan pulls a foil, fatal, fatal push. push. 
and a planeswalker and like one other thing. I was just, and, uh, and I was just like, are you kidding me? Hey, if, when you're talking draft, sometimes it's the little <laughs> cards that people overlook. No, win it. it was more of just like the, the magic guys here. I'm like, yeah, I know about magic and stuff. And then just me and Alvin's like, is this good? <laughs> and we're, we both just like, yes, that is good. Um, I mean, I told you when I won. Also, off the plus one, plus oh. Wow, another card. old one. Uh, converge. Exile now permanent equal number of colors. Spend the cast. Uh, okay. I mean, it's cool that's in the old border. I know I like the old border. I know you're not as big. Ooh. Yeah. Well, Vindicate. It depends on the art. Because, like, I've told you, the reason why a lot of times I don't like it is because the new... Ooh, nice. Yeah, there's a one... This is the reprint. There's a slot for reprints. That's why we got two rares here. That's <laughs> delicious, well, isn't it? The reason why I'm not big on a lot of the old borders is because the new art style of Magic doesn't mesh as well with the old school mm -hmm. borders. I, I, I'm i still uh, a big fan you know. Oh, I will say, I forgot. Two two cards I think both of us would definitely be happy, besides obviously Chatterfang. Chatterfang. No. The Esper Sentinel and the uh, Yavimana. Or I'm thinking oh, that. yeah. The Yavimaya uh, Cradle Grove. And Esper. Mostly because yeah. no matter what came out of her deck, if we're in those colors, we're per those are probably being considered. Oh, I'm, I'm smashing Yavimaya in every green deck I play. Even Omnith? I'm a legit tempted for the lulls. Well, I mean, even now, though it's a mono green. You probably deck. have one or two colorless cards lands in there and that way you can be like i still have green force <laughs> and actually that might be technically yeah no it, it would it'd be completely dumb and a waste of a slot but i'd do it i mean it, I'm, I'm sure i'm the can spare the energy oh well i just kicked that i'm gonna see if I move that back godzilla's roaring yes one of my one of two official magic play mats i have yeah the other one being Ghidorah. <laughs> um, Neither of which being magic characters. Hey, look, it's what we're doing right now. Crack open. Well, what you're doing, you haven't given me a single pack to open them. Now, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Come here, come, Scoot. Yeah. You can open the next one. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so, go through. I'm, I'm going through a bit more of the commons because they're, unless there's something in interest of us. Yeah. Poor Mir. He's definitely yeah. going to be sacrificed. Just like that dog. I hate that they made that one dog card that sacrificed to give something indestructible. Well, yeah, that's why everyone's joke about it was, okay, so this is a vanilla 1-1 one, one dog. And we were like, no. It's like the people who weren't in on the joke were like, no, it also has sacrifice to give something indestructible. I'm like, right, a vanilla 1-1 one, one dog with no other ability. Yeah, and did you read its flavor text? Uh, I don't remember. It's like, she she saved his life, so now he gives his life for her. It's like the most, like... Tear jerky, like oh yeah, don't, my don't vanilla one one dog. No, it's it. I'm, I'm glad they had all that space for flavor text to write that all out. Oh, no, 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 it clearly well, has no other ability. This thing's not flavor text. It's all just blank. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What does this do? Oh, I like. Uh, whenever you discard a card, each opponent mills two cards. Okay, so right, they added more blue discard things. Here's another sketch one. Oh, and it's squirrel related. Squirrel. <laughs> Oh, that's a reference to um, it, it's like something hermit. That's a squirrel card. Mm -hmm. Um, you will need a potion to black. Okay, there, there's um, it's it's something hermit. That I'm makes, sorry. I think I love his flavor text though. It has like vanishing mood. He's the Pied <laughs> Piper of squirrels. Because the thing is, I think the other one was like supposed to be like a Pied Piper. Uh huh. But why the hell do they put mood? Because, Matt, they knew you were going to put this in the deck. So they had to make... No, it just sounds like someone in, like... Like, someone no younger than the age of 39 being like, I know what the kid... Like, hello, fellow children. Mood. Am I right? Since so you're going to love that. Oh, I'm going to play the fuck out of it. <laughs> and every time I'm going to be like, mood. Am I right? You are... You're going to play the heck out of it. Uh... Brainstone. It's a stone. It's got a creepy face. This is the old card slot. I remember people actually really annoyed the Gorilla Shaman back in the day. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It shows the banner where it's actually from. Ooh. Uh, Le Goyf. I don't think this will yet rival its... Uh, oh, no, it never will. But it power equal to creature cards in all graveyards. That's not half bad. 
And at the end of each player's upkeep, that player just goes, oh, I like that. In Commander, it, it's, be it's better than um, Tarmogoyf oh, yeah. in Commander. Of course it is. Um, because it's all players' graveyards. Mm -hmm. um, but outside of Commander, like we're in Modern, where Tarmogoyf rules, mm -hmm. uh, no. No. But it's still cool. Oh, I love it. I still love it. Get a clue, Matt. No. All right. I said it. And I meant it. This is the person that uh, Black Blade was fighting. She's like a demon, apparently. Uh, do it on camera, please. I was going to just do the peeling part <laughs> on camera, too. <laughs> All right. You can scoot closer if you want. You're stretching a bit. No, I don't want to. <laughs> All right. Orchard Strider. Mm -hmm. and so make some food, basic land cycling. Draw three, land cycling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know they're commons. I got it. How many turn try creature gets plus two plus one? Oh, okay. Did, did I... What? I pulled three cards in a row with basic land cycling. You found the, the cycle. I was really hoping this was going to be a fourth. Now, just more crack open. Vermin Gorge, another dark creature. Okay. The vampire that only eats rats. I guess. Oh, interesting flavor text hinting at what's happening then. In, what in vampire right was commanding fear spec that befit noble blood? Really sunk so low. So I guess there aren't a lot of vampires left. At least not at, with the same amount of power. Well, didn't Nahiri wipe out a lot of them? I don't know. Only, like, only Nahiri House killed his Markov. entire... Only House caps. Markov, not the other ones. And I think the other one took his blade and became queen of Innistrad and, or lord. Yeah. Uh, and then a bunch fell under Anyways. the thrall of Emrakul. I don't know. I, I hated it because he killed all my angels. Anyways, um... This is the fourth color I've got basic land cycling in. All I need is a black card with basic land cycling, and I've got the entire set. I was <laughs> so hoping that was going to be it. I saw the bit of black underneath that, and I was like, oh, please th let that be it. Nope. Nope. Cabal initiate. Mm -hmm. Nice discard outlet. It's always nice to have free discard and sack outlets. Mm -hmm. Similarly here. You a big boy. I'm sad that, I like, manatees. while I love, like, manatee I love manatees, and I love that he's a manatee, I kind of wish he was a giant flying amoeba with wings. Oh, I amoeba. Oh. Because he's arrow amoeba. If he was a giant amoeba, that would have been amazing. Ooh. Chatterstorm. Uh, people are really afraid of this card, in, apparently, in Popper. Hey, yeah, I would be. <laughs> I would be, too. Old Border. There. Actually, pretty nice. Yeah, it's it's the Bird of Paradise Thopter. Yeah. That's actually probably actually something people want. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I wouldn't expect it to be more though than like a few bucks. The bad bones connected to the batter skull. <laughs> Play one to the other. Arcbound Whelp. It's got fire breathing. It's, it's Arcbound Whelp. <laughs> Arcbound you're like, Arcbound? <laughs> Welp. Oh. And then, of course, there's this person who's uh, a reference to another card we love, except it has Eternal Eyes, which makes me automatically not like it as much. You're going to ruin this. All right. Oop. And once again, I kicked it. <laughs> Matt and me are not a fan of Nicobolas here. This is not a Nicobolas friendly house. Eternal Eyes! Well, we got Wonder. <laughs> Which used to be uncommon. I'm a little angry they only did wonder, not the rest. But they kept the weird bird head. Yeah. Which I appreciate. Such the ah. premises. I like this card. Yeah, this is pretty solid. I um get what I wanted to put it in. Oh, I wanted to put it in my uh my cloud my pillowport deck. Did I No, it just can't be from you. There's like a bubble in the card. Oh, it's a little bit damaged. But what the Something happened with the printing process on that. You see that little black dot? That's not supposed to be there. There's some so some sort of debris got onto the print like printing press there. 
and you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's a dent on the front end of the you car. You can see the black. But... Yeah. For, uh, this is not Comparative. the pen mark that is known to be on the back of the car. Yeah, that's that's just a, that, that came factory damaged. Oh, yeah, I just. You got it off? I did, but it's definitely, like, wedged in there. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a, that dent's not coming out. I mean, we ain't planning on selling it, so whatever, but. I'm yeah. more curious what the hell it is. Oh, well. I'm sure it's some, some bit of debris. <sighs> I'm sure it's some, some bit of debris that, um. Now, if, imagine that if that was on, Rod on uh, the monkey, though. Then I would have actually been mad. <laughs> That one, I'm like, oh, whatever. That's kind of interesting. Whatever. If it was on the monkey, would have been a little mad. It's another rift sower. Oh, here's the rest of the pack. Yeah, yes. Our bird that needs 5,000 pairs of glasses. That Ooh, Cyclops is damaged too. Four. What? The corner. Yeah, a little. That, but that's like uh, yeah, not uncommon because that can happen in the pack. Mm-hmm. That Vermin Gorger, we already saw. Initiate, we already saw. I love the art on this one. <laughs> He's so cute. It's just like a kid dressed for Halloween. That's I what know. it is. It's wonderful. Except he eats tokens. Except he, like, you see that deer he's staring at? He's about to eat it. Matt is like, behold, marriage leads token. How? Um, num, 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 num. Yeah, you know, this sacrifice merit leads to should him. be a, not an oof. He should be a uh, a tog. Yeah, that would make sense if he was a <laughs> you know tog. What? That's what we need more reprints of. We need a togs to come back on Mirrodin. Reprint. That's how we defeat the Phyrexians. And reprint a tog a tog. A tog a tog. This is uh it, an alternate, basically an alternate form of faith, faithless looting. It's the we try to make it fair again. Some people, when they're really sad, they cry tears. Other people, when they're in true agony, they cry blood. I, I cry lava. I mean, that seems that, that would fit. Not Golgari. Um, what's the red black? Rakdos. Rakdos. Yeah. Oh, another chatter storm. For every chatter storm that shows up on the stream, a squirrel gets its wings. Be terrified. They can fly now. And ignore the fact that flying squirrels exist. <laughs> All right. So when he enters the battlefield, your creature your punishment will get by. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. With a nice unearthed value. Yeah, not, oh, bad. not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. It's no massacre worm, but Skittle time. Skittle, 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 skittle. Crap. Christ tribal when? That already happened. When? Zendikar. I don't remember. Hedron crab was super big back in the original. Zendikar. Right, one crab. But I'm talking about like I want to. Uh, okay, Lord of Crab Atlantis. But decks were based around all crabs. Crab. Island Scuttlewalk. We but granted, but the deck was an entire deck based around. Even if it was one crab, it was an entire deck based around a crab. Uh, we're gonna need more butter. <laughs> I love this card. Bay offering. What's in the? I, uh, it's just covered up. I was like, am I just not recognizing what's in that? <laughs> What is it? Uh, creature spell and non-creature spell this turn. Create a clue, a food, and a treasure. And then there's another card. I think it's called Assembly Worker, which is whenever you make a food, a treasure, or a food token, instead, make all three. So you get three of each of them. Because this makes one of each. Oh, for this, maybe, yeah. I have to remember the exact wording, but yes. It, it might not, because it might... I, I'd have to read the wording, because it might replace this entire effect. Right. There's oh, greed. Cool. Greed's a, a solid card, in my opinion. A lot of people think that's too much nowadays. The people think Phyrexian really? Arena is too slow. No, I, I don't think... Oh, not a, the, wait, they think it's... Or sorry, you say they think it's not enough? Yeah, in Commander. Oh, yeah. No, 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 yeah. It's, Phyrexian it's, it's, Arena. It's not, no, no, sorry, I was talking about Greed, uh, not Phyrexian Arena. Um, I, I see that. It's it's not like it's a you know super standout card, but I think it's a very solid card. It is, and that's why I think. I think that's the difference. And we don't. You should only care about solid, particularly if you're not playing with C C E D H like competitive E D H people. It just 
I then greed is a very solid card. I, I would I, 100% I support like, playing, like yeah. sign in blood. I'm like, do you, do your commander games last only three rounds or something? I know most CDH games do, but like that's exactly it. If you're playing with CDH people, yeah. But they, the way they they never say FCC, they say FCC, it's just the code. Well, I mean but, that's just but, false. Yeah, let's move on. Ooh, good. <laughs> A uh, very good card. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this now, one. Would you, if you were to put this in your deck, that can fit it, obviously. Would you remove spot removal, or would you swap this out for a board wipe? Uh, it would depend on which one I had more, because honestly, it, it would take either slot. I think I'd probably do board wipe only because most of the spot removal I can think of I have, especially in these cards, are instants. Fair. Oh, if this was an instant. An instant board oh, wipe. If it, if it was instant, then it at this cost, <laughs> that'd be broken. <laughs> and oily artifact land. Phyrexian germ. Oh, do are they make Phyrexian germs now? I guess so. I don't know. I know they added to the Phyrexian type to a lot of things. Right, here, move back so you can open the next one. So I don't know. Um, I like that because they're foily what does or doesn't and after all i mean look what colors it is an artifact land in these colors i mean that is the the colors for artifact lands no my red white land <laughs> dick <laughs> jokes brought to you by will white likes artifact yeah the color of disenchant likes artifacts we tutor equipments so it's all half the commanders care about that if they're right red have you seen lorehold Jokes by Will. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a, I haven't seen the Vyashnu. Vyashnu, yeah. No, Via, Vyashinu. or Vyashino. Vyashino. I like them. Vyashino. They're lizard people. They're cool. Yeah, they're cool. Uh, Angry Bull. Um, Shattered. Someone who accidentally walked on stage without his pants. Ooh, I like the art on this one. This looks more like yeah, the comic yeah, book yeah. promo art. Yeah, he's cool. Skills. Wait, go back to the last card. Oh, I, I misread it as Gitblade. The Gitblade Brown. Ooh. Sketch. Sketch. And this card I really love because it's actually part of a uh, trilogy. The first one being... I have an entirely different reason for loving it, but continue. Lesser Gadon, which is just some regular red card. Then Greater Gadon, which was a suspend card that came in as like a 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh, yeah, you told me about this, yeah. And then they just made, eh, here's a card. Yeah. Eh, it's, it's you amazing. know what I like it? Why? It looks like the sketch of someone from the what someone from the 1600s thought a mammoth looked like. Like it being the black and white sketchiness, that looks like a picture someone drew in the 1600s I'm of sorry, what they I, thought prehistoric well, life I, I can't. All I can hear, when I look at this, I don't see that. All I can see is, take on me. Don't sue me, to, uh, Twitch, and stop, whatever. No, see, know what know what I thought? What? Oh, here's back. Uh, know what I thought looking at the art? Just, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. What what was that? That's uh, the noise he makes. No, I'm pretty sure it's Parva. Because you, you know, do you know apparently dinosaurs? The noise that apparently, if they were real, would be more like ducks. Yeah, yeah, they just squawk. <laughs> Ooh, I like this guy in Old Border just because it's yeah. a funny link. I just like his art. He's just like, see, that looks good with the Old Border. See, that that could go anywhere from him trying to be intimidating to being. <laughs> Fire! Like freaking out. Oh, the 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 what the sadder brother of the triskelion. The monoskelion. Uh oh, squirrel card. That can go infinite with one other card. Squirrels. Infinity. Because the most famous Oh, uh, one of my favorites, one oh, of my old friends. Classic. Probably taken out of a lot of decks by now, but I can't help it. I love this He's, guy. Well, because like and also uh, when we started Trek. playing EDH. Ooh. 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 Old border, so probably not that good, but who cares? Old border, uh, shuffle all permanents you own into your library, then reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Mm. Put all non aura permanents you reveal this way on the battlefield, then do the same for auras attaching the things and the rest in the bottom. Nice, 
I could put in the silver deck and probably would not end well, but I'd try. I'd hope hope I'd probably hit all my sorceries. <laughs> all like five of them. Ooh, oh. Foily Sketch Mythic. Archon of Cruelty. I think we gotta check out both of these now. Yeah, I, I doubt that it's gonna be three bucks, yeah. but who cares? Let's go. But yeah, Yavamaya Elder. Like that was the thing. Back when we started playing EH, mm -hmm. Yavamaya Elder was absolutely a staple card. Like this this guy that we opened, when we started playing EH, he was a hundred percent a staple. Like almost every green deck played him for a solid ramp. Why am I doing this? I'm just gonna search. All right, uh, Matt, type in the first one's name. Type in "Glimpse of Tomorrow." There it is. One dollar. All right. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. Uh, not Archon. even as expensive as the regular one. Archon of Cruelty. Your keyboard uh, is very loud. Yes. <laughs> it's the cheapest one! <laughs> oh, no, it's not. I guess market price it is not as low as... Yeah, because the, the listing is a little... Um, uh, though, what's the, the foil price? Oh, I guess... Because it's foil we're talking about here. Right, I don't know how to... Normally they say... Um, the foil is like a buck more or something. All right. I can pretend it's a big hit. Once again, we're just not beating the monkey. We won't. I'm telling you, we won't. Yeah, foil like five bucks. We can find a fetch land, yeah, maybe. You can see. Yeah. If... So. Right. I don't know how to switch back, so I'm going to uh, leave that Well, here. we're going to just go back to the regular. I meant switch back to the other camera. Yeah, I know, but I also want to switch back to this. There we go. Ah, that's how. I forgot to do that. Oh, cancel. There we go. All right. Uh, I don't even... I have multiple packs here. Uh, I don't remember which one. Oh, this is the one with greed and stuff. Yep. Skittle died! <laughs> Alright. Oh. So how many squirrel cards have we opened so far? Uh, more than I have here, because we've put a few back because of the repeats. Right, but I meant uh, single four. one tree. Alright. No. Uh, we recalibrating what I have to do too many times because I'm not good enough to remember this stuff. Unbound potential is a common. That seems sad. Why? Because it, your unbound potential is pretty common, actually. Most people have it. Yeah. Our manatee friend. Another old school yeah. border. The f there's a regular Dreadma, and now there's the Phantasmal one. Yeah, uh, that's what happened after he died. Well, no, he's not a ghost. He's an illusion. So someone's trying to saw that and just trying to scare them. Yeah, someone's trying to... They, they made friends with the Dreadmaw, and they're sad that he's gone, so they made an illusion trying to fill a hole in their heart. Read the quote. That was perhaps the most terrifying thing I thought I almost saw. Oh, I love Split Second. I know people hate it because yeah. it's too powerful, but I love No, it's like people hate it because they're like, I can't cast my three instants to counter it and then bounce your other thing. It's like, no, I have to sit there and let you do a thing on your turn. What is the nonsense? I play blue. Spoilers. Matt's a green player. I believe in your turn is your turn as opposed to your turn is my turn. Be fair though, he he is he's old school green. He's not uh, as yes. happy about the news. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I, I actually don't like how powerful green has got uh, because I think it's way overboard. And I, even though I'm a major green player, I think they've gone way too far with the, with the power on green, and I really don't like it. And Soul, I'm a green player. Soul snare. I don't know why that was the, to that tune. Just take it easy. Yeah, uh, this is because Soul Rider. Uh, um, I didn't. I actually didn't even know the name of the song. I just knew the the lyric. After. All right, Bloodbraid Marauder, trying to be as good as its sister, Bloodbraid Elf. It, it won't close. be. It gets and moderately then, oh, close. Wait. A foil recalibrate. Yes, how worth it. And a green beast. I don't care. It's foil. But this one. Ooh, I didn't actually read. Trial nine nine one. Still encountering issues. With accidental authorization. Maybe if we widen the dimension matrix by point 
Uh, that's not yeah, as funny sense. as I was hoping. Yeah, you know, you know when you uh, you have to widen the dimensional matrix by 0.07. Yeah, but I was thinking you something. Give me that other one you have uh, sleep. I just have a stack of the sleep ones here. You know, I was really hoping for something silly like uh, maybe if we didn't allow goblins or something. It would be funnier like to you if, if you studied more physics. Oh, uh, such a scoundrel. No! I love this card. This just hard evidence. Make a crab and investigate. It's yeah. Detective crab. Exactly. That's exactly what they're showing. It's I, I want, someone, fighting to, some hard I want someone to alter this. But all I want is a little Sherlock Holmes hat on the crab. <laughs> and maybe a pipe. No, 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 not yet. No, yeah. Uh, a dinosaur that was left in Ravnica, I guess. <laughs> he looks so lost. He's just like, what? Uh, where are you? What? What is this? You know, this guy spent a lot of time writing all that with the bloody uh, axe. And he's like, I put all this... <gasps> dead scryfish? <laughs> it's the dead scryfish. Dun, 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 dun. I love scryfish. It's one of my oh, favorite I love this cards. cartoon. Late to dinner, just... It's kind of sad. Oh, it's sad, but I also love it. I do too. <laughs> Literally, the first, Matt, the bomb test is you were too stubborn to let death hold you from a date. Yeah. 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 He's an elephant. He didn't forget even even through death. It, it's kind of sad, but also fabulous. Right. Green spells costing less. Abundant harvest. Nice. This is actually the card that um, it was one of the uh, Japanese altar and. Uh, what is it? Mystical Archive cards. Oh. There's our regular version of the Bird of Paradise. Mm -hmm. The modular. The Road to Ruin. Is that... Oh, this I is... I think not... depending on the type of split card, there's supposed to be a word in between. Yeah, one's ah, two... Oh, a cursed totem. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, so you hate playing magic. No, it's just... You like to go off with crazy activated abilities? How about no? Yeah, you want to ruin someone else's fun. This is you just want someone to be miserable. Depends on if you play activated abilities with creatures. Well, how else would you play in deck unless you're playing to shut down one entire deck? Or multiple <gasps> entire decks. It's a sword! And a good one. I love this sword. Wait, is this a new one? Hearth and it Hulk? is. Give it a read, Matt. Ooh, all right. Uh, when a group creature just come to player, exile up to one creature you own. Then search your library for a basic land. Put both cards onto the battlefield. Ah, so you flicker a creature and get a land. Mm-hmm. All right, not bad. Not as good as Feast of Famine. Yeah, except that one's broken. Yeah, my statement stands. This is fair and still good. My statement stands. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I wanted this for my sliver. I mean, I have the old school version, but I like this one better because then I have the Cabal. Yeah, Patriarch Spitting. That was a, that was a triple rare. Damn. Triple rare pack, everyone. Damn. Yeah, that's you hear the excitement in my voice. I'm actually very excited. I just yeah, no. Um, <laughs> you know, Patriarch Spitting. I play in uh, Ripple Rats because it's really dumb when you go. All right, everyone, choose a creature type. I choose rats. I bring back 36 creatures. I have slivers. Yes, but my deck is entailed to put all of them on the field at once. So if I get board wiped, it's all of them in the graveyard, and thus all of them back at once. Speaking of which, there's I don't no, know about There's that no story. individual rat rats I would, in board. Full, I wouldn't be uh, disappointed with a full part of Marari's Wake if we can find that. That would be pretty sweet. Who would? Who would? You mean who wouldn't? No, 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 like, who would be disappointed? Um, yeah. <laughs> we're still hitting some pretty high things here. Um, I mean, this is why the boxes were so expensive. Yeah, I know, but I think it's also on Wizard's part. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wizards, um... Wizards, but, uh, look, could at you the very please least... stop... Being so beholden to Hasbro and what they say with your marketing. Please. Please. I, I we think, know they're, no. the, they're, they're daddy. No. I think that, like, yes, Hasbro's got some, but I think they, there's, they could have done. Uh, but look, at least the set's better. It's not like they didn't... Well, the thing started print, going uh, downhill after Hasbro bought it. Jump Hill. Uh, not Jump Hill. Jump, jump start. start. Jump Hill. The favorite Magic the Gathering set. Jump Hill sounds like a 90s commercial. like something, Or something that would be in a 90s commercial. 
Or a Netflix. 90s um, sitcom. Jump Hill would be a 90s sitcom. Ooh. It's even better because they're all dead. It's just extra, you know, colorless. <gasps> I can eat tokens old school now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just look at that art. If I showed you this art and told you it wasn't from an unset, no, no, no. It looks like it's from an unset. Meanwhile, he's in this cutie, like, butterfly. You want to know what this looks and like? And he eats Matt, the other creatures. Matt, that looks like Invader Zim art. Like, does that not look like... No, it doesn't look like Invader Zim art, but the theme of it and everything, yes. Like, the like the art style, no. Outside of that, yes. Because it looks like, like, Gur or Zim in some doofy outfit. Ooh, Mistress Factory. Ah, nice. It's everyone's favorite dryad from this set. You get mana. You get mana. Everyone gets Wait. mana. Hold still for sex. So I can read. <laughs> the next man in one color where X is. Ah. Well, I mean, you, only you get it. Yes, but she's she's only talking to you. I love the art though. Just the. Ah. Enchantment. I am actually. I'm actually. I might put that in my um. Once again, that Cloud Fork deck I was talking about because it, it is mostly in, enchantments. It's a lot of enchantments. Mm. It's oops, accidentally enchantment deck. <laughs> Just because I'm trying to do so much. I mean, I could put that in Rise. Rise plays a lot of enchantments. Uh, Rise, I'm blanking. Redeemed. Uh, uh, tokens. Obscene tokens. He's in there too. Literally, because I just need decent. I need like, I need token generating oh, decks that don't, need, like, don't no care about anything else. Because. I don't, my only win con is building up tokens, and I don't have enough. Yeah, he goes, he's like, oh, you hit six mana? Let me just flood the table with tokens. <laughs> Do you remember uh, Bottle Gnomes? Yeah, in the Bottle Goblins. Play as that doesn't sound comfortable. You never know. You got the right person doing it. It what? could be relaxing. So this is, is this just a better murder? Eggs under creature, you gain life equal to the number of counters on it. Uh, I get the cut yeah. for more black. That's the thing. No, murder's one black, black. Oh. So this is just better murder. Yeah. Yeah, that's a strictly better murder. I love this card mostly just because I hate Planeswalker decks. Plane Blitz? I mean, I like it just because I think there needs to be more Planeswalker hate. Also, I, I feel bad for that guy. Which I, Do you I, know I, that guy? Do you recognize him? Yeah, he's the card. He's the guy from all the all the uh, Christmas. He has White a name. Says, I forget what it is. Blast but... it not again. <laughs> uh, why did I? He's from all the curse cards. Mm -hmm. But I mean, granted, you know, Ooh, in the grand more. scheme of Magic, Planeswalkers are relatively new. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, of course, chuck a flaming goblin, and I'm sure the goblin in the picture was like, "Let's go! I'm gonna do it." Uh, I think is that a college? Not Kaladesh, uh, not Kamigawa. Wow. Um, the artifact plane, but not M Mirrodin. Ka not Ka wow. Oh my god. Wait, is it? I think it is Kaladesh. No, not. Oh no, not for this. I mix it up. I'm, oh my god, my brain is frying. Tarkir. That looks like a Tarkir. Was, Tarkir was not a, a, mer a. Oh, hey, moderation. Uh, was not an artifact plane. But uh, I have no idea, honestly. I feel I like never, I don't only... remember goblins being that big in talk here, so I'm not sure. The, they were part of the you know, Mardu tribe. Also, I feel like you're uh, only playing this there. with the one cost, with the cards that say no one can play more spell, one spell a turn. So yeah, you mean like um, rule of law? Yeah, just so you can be like, oh no, I can only cast more than one spell a turn. Guess what, everyone? Yeah. No one can cast more than one spell a turn, so it doesn't mean anything. I just get the draw. Yeah. Or you just, like... You know, actually, no. no you, even you think a lightning spear would be better? I mean, it's because it's too hard to hold the lightning. Yeah. Look at the little insect. Just sitting on a lamppost. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> Sneak Ooh. peeks. It's a black card. Ah, kitchen nymphs. Madness. All right. 
Oh, another uh, good kitchen card for my kitchen theme deck, which I'm going to try and cheat on. Uh, Flame Flame Tongue. Tongue. It's old Kavu. I, I, still have, like, I the type love Kavu. Yeah, Kavu. I really love Kavu. They're like, an old school. They are. are. I don't know if they'll ever come back because I think I, I think they, they just really got replaced with Beast. Yeah, but do they exist anywhere besides Dominaria? I have no clue. I don't think we've ever seen them outside of Dominaria. <laughs> this is a cool card. I like it because I like carrying birds. Mm -hmm. The art is just really cool too. Uh... Make something an artifact, okay. Ah, uh, seal of removal. That's a classic. Well, Ooh, Garth One Eye. It's Garth One Eye, folks. Everyone's favorite. I want. I wonder. Did they make tokens of all the things he can make? Can you see him again? Yeah, choose a name that hasn't been chosen. I'll just read off that. Yeah, like that. Yeah, remember this because it's because he can make black lotuses. Which, uh, I mean, granted, that, that I was gonna say there aren't that many like untapped abuses, but he's in every color. So if there is one, you got it. At least uh, speaking, commander. I don't think but I don't, I don't we'll think double he's check the high price. Yeah, well, because it's such a weird. It's more of a weird. And well, because like he can, yeah, sure, he can make a black lotus, but it costs one of every color to get him out in the first place. Oh, Gilgarth. Three hundred ninety-five dollars. Just did buy, you know, if Gilgarth. This is why he's so cheap. Someone took Gilgarth and stabbed out one of his eyes, and they're like, "Well, now you're only worth five bucks. You ain't got depth perception." He's also worth one dollar. So I have no idea which, like, what's the difference. I know we're looking at Yu-Gi-Oh now. <laughs> one's a secret rare. One's an ultra rare. Well, and the common. <laughs> Matt is thoroughly confused. You know what would help him? Opening a pack. By the way, I just noticed now, Matt, the gold stamp signature art card is mo worth more than some of his versions. That's sad. That's sad. All right. All right. Uh, you want? All right. Whatever you can spell for a greater, greater thopter. Okay. Spell fear. Proliferate targets you control. Fights the one target creature you don't control. He proliferates something in his pants. <laughs> uh, Arcbound slasher. Good boy. Good boy with riot and uh, wait. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you could come in as a five-five. But also with modular. Ooh, you can this is another card people are scared of in Popper. And it's Squirrel. Nest is Old school border. What do you mean he's a squirrel? He's a zombie. Reed is a bit. Oh, you mean that he makes squirrels? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if he did something to like pump his power like crazy. <laughs> Matt, you need to get a, what was it, Titanic Force or something that make, gives something like plus 13, plus 13, but taps it. Um, I'm not familiar with the card, but there's yeah. some green card that does that, and then you just do that and then sack him and just make a third time. 14 yeah. squirrels. And then you take down Emrakul, an Elder God. Mm -hmm. No, not, not an Elder God. The magic equivalent of an Elder God. <laughs> well, I only want to say that because I don't think those are creature types yet. No. Uh, all right, Instructable Bridge. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised that if she eventually becomes an Captors. Eldrazi God. That'd be cool. Like retro. That'd be cool. Uh, end of the battlefield, reveal the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, the other into your graveyard. You can hand this way, draw three. I mean, they just like caged her in the moon. So, mm -hmm. like, there's absolute, like, she caged herself in the moon. Yes, but I truly think that her story's not done. Oh, of course it's not. No, no, no. They're not going to end it there. I won't lie, I'm a bit more interested in that, even though I hate her for ruining the plane, but I actually blame mom. Um, what's her name more? Nahiri? Nahiri. Ruining a perfectly good plane. Yeah, I know. And killing all my awesome angels. But I love Nahiri. Why? Because I like crazy. <laughs> but she also messed up Zendikar, which is a plane you love. Define messed up. Where you shape it in her image that wouldn't be wild and green. Did she completely? She tried to, but uh, Nisa stopped her. Uh. But then we're all good. 
Well, Nisa Anyways. and Chase. Fodder Chase tosser. doesn't understand Nisa. It's the fodder tosser. We... Ooh, night. Spirit night, breathless. Uh, whenever that or another creature enters the map under your control, the creature enters from the graveyard or casts in the graveyard. He get so pretty much when things come in, he gets bigger. It's a more expensive crypt. Ooh, Ooh violent tumor. Actually, I, I think know. that looks better on the old border. Yeah, this see this one meshes. This one meshes with the old border. Curse dude. Flame blitz. Bad ewit. Screw you. Oh. oh my god. Oh, oh hey. <laughs> oh my god, this is my Mardu. This is my pack. This is my Mardu energy coming through, man. Oh. I actually hate that you're now with me on this because I would have you be clipping all this stuff. Actually, you could do it afterwards. Then Matt knows a lot more about Twitch too. He's the one who told me, like, all oh, right, you know you can hydrate and do things with people. I'm like, what's that? It's like, yeah, you know there's things you can redeem. You can make your own emotes. I'm stupid. Oh, I'm my God. I'm more time on Twitch than you. Okay, Cabal Coffers regular. I mean, I would love the full art version. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that is just amazing, but still. Granted, you have the most expensive version of Ares, basically. Yeah. Uh-oh. No, I don't. Oh, you meant no. Type in Aaron Mesa. I I, I thought I you will meant from prove it to I you. I thought you meant from this pack. Because I was like, I don't have the old border. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, we've made back the set of this box. I'm pretty sure. At have this we point. actually? Um, I think because this is like, hold on, let me see these. He's, or close at least. He's like 80, 30. These are both 20. So that's 100. Okay, maybe not. That's 150 there alone. Yeah, which is okay. So sorry, I didn't still have a hundred to go. Yeah, but then there's like that. Which oh, is like and then this, bucks, which is going to be another fifteen. Twenty. Twenty. So I mean, like, just like we're already pretty much near two hundred. Probably yeah. the like non including Hang things on. and not view all listings. View all versions. Yeah, see, because I had... The... I, we didn't switch to this, so everyone's like, they're not CC. Oh, I didn't realize. Oops, that was my back. bad. I didn't switch. That's okay. Just don't. No, no, leave mm -hmm. that. Leave that. I'll... Don't worry about it. Yeah, Matt opened oh. the um, Zendikar Expedition uh, Arid Mesa and gave it to me because I'm the one who plays a lot of white red. Which which one is it? Yeah, uh, what page? What page? There we go. Yeah, I cracked uh, this bad boy in a pack. Just, just in a regular $3 pack. No big deal. Still, geez, I mean, come on, this though. Oh, that's still fabulous. Um, well, it's not as bad as I think when you got, back you, in, that you earned another opac. When back there, in the day, friend. when I opened um three Snapcaster mages, <laughs> you didn't know what they were. Good. That was like that was before I knew anything about magic. I know no one redeemed it, but I'm self redeeming a hydrate because I'm thirsty. Yeah. What happened to my water bottle? Oh, that's right, I put it down here. But, like, before I knew anything about, like, prices of magic cards, I opened um, three copies of a guy's Snapcaster Mage, who at the time was, like, 70 bucks. And so I didn't know anything about magic card Show, prices. Tell the story while you're showing the cards. So I had no idea. You can just flash through the comments. Yeah, this Orchard Strider. But, like, so, like, I opened the third uh, version of the guy, and I was like... I was annoyed because I was like, oh, I just keep pulling the same rare. I just keep pulling the same rare. And then and I like, was talking to Will on the phone. I was messaging him. And I was like, you know, I keep pulling. Oh, sorry. Skipped a card. You would skip Starfish. He, well, he's not Scryfish. He's dead Scryfish. <laughs> but I was like, I messaged Will. I was like, I keep pulling the same card. And he was like, uh, like, oh, okay. What, what, car, what rare is that? I was like, I keep pulling this guy. Snapcaster Mage. Well, he's just like, are you serious? <laughs> that card is worth so much money. And that was around the time I also pulled three Karns. Which that was were... a little bit later. Karn wasn't around then. Well, I said around the same time. Mm -hmm. um, I pulled three Karns, which are also worth a lot of money. And That's good. Like... Uh, if there's a good rare, he can pull multiple copies of it. Or at least one. The Instructable Lands. I mean, I have the Richard Garfield. Well, you didn't. That was lucky. Mm -hmm. 
Well, no, it was it was from a box. Right, I forgot. I just wasn't a part of that. Yeah, it was it was a box that I bought. Too bad you can't get it graded right now. Can you not? Uh, the places that do all the gradings are all closed because it's they have such a huge backup of cards because uh, everyone's trying to. I <laughs> should get that graded. Everyone's trying to sell their stuff. It's actually really annoying because it's the same. Probably half of them are the same people who are ruining it for anyone else who just wants to actually play the game. The card games in general. I'm not. I mean, the only reason I would get it graded is because like I'm not planning on playing it. It's also and so get in the case. worth the price. It's I mean, without grading, it's worth a thousand dollars. a scorch. Look at the pretty colors. <laughs> All right, that's our card from so got the Milliken. Um, Odyssey. That's Odyssey because that's the the Marari. What? The symbol in the back. That's the repeat. Slot. Oh, oh, oh. And. That's a great card for you, but that is going to end your pack opening. We got, we got the the mammoth. No, yeah, read what it's called. Yeah, I know, Derma Taxi. You literally turn something. You, you turn a mammoth into a taxi. No, you turn anything in your graveyard into a taxi. Well, in the case of the card art, a mammoth. So Matt, you could turn a squirrel into a taxi. Yeah, you could I turn Emrakul yeah. into a taxi. Yeah, I could drape a squirrel over a giant vehicle, just stretch out like <laughs> you can, it'll fit, it'll fit, it'll fit. It'll fit. Oh my god. I just want you to think of how awkward some of the cards you can think of if you use that as your your taxi. I mean any human card. Just a little bit. Ooh, oh, Grateful Restoration. What is this? Choose one. Target creature from the graveyard to the battlefield with additional woman counter, or two creatures with power two or less. So one big in or two small ends. Sorry, how would you say that? Capricorn? Capricorn? Oh, it's a goat! Like, <laughs> it's a goat! Yeah, like, and it eats Capricorn. artifacts! Yeah. <laughs> it's a goat, so he eats, he eats whatever. Not as good as on a tog. I mean, I mean, nothing will top a tog a tog. I love me some squirrel mob. Squirrel mob. But in, in terms of naming, nothing will top a tog -a -tog. Uh, hold on, hold on. We got a I dare you to find me a better name for a card than Actually, a give me the foils. Why is calibrated blast worth something? There we go. <laughs> when when you you uh you do your calibrate calibrated blast and then uh they give it like hex proof recalibrating. <laughs> <laughs> or or what I should say is uh you cast uh calibrated blast. And mm -hmm. then someone does like redirect, recalibrate, <laughs> recalibrating, recalibrate, recalibrating. Please there it is on camera. All right. So, Matt, before we continue, because don't look at the screen, don't look at we got the what each color combo is supposed to do. What is white blue supposed to do? Do you uh, think? Make all your stuff cost more and flicker stuff and just kind of generally tell you you don't get to play the game. Uh, no, uh, this they're supposed to be affinity for artifacts. Uh, that's a lie. Uh, no, for this set. Oh, specifically for yeah, this, this set. Oh, out of the set. Sorry. Are they meant white blue in general? No. White no, no, blue no, no, in no. general. Yeah, no, no. What it does is you're... says you're not allowed to play to play the game. You don't get to play magic. Okay. All right. All I right. get to play magic. Right, so not you. Don't look at the screen. I'm gonna, we're going through the rest of the color combos. All right. So blue black. Well, that's the thing. Like specifically, you're not the set, well, I from what you think. That's what I'm trying to do. If you want, I'll give you a hint. Sure. All right. This one says. Blank is normally a drawback, but here it's an advantage. Paying life? Something that or would be discarding. blue and black. Yeah, discarding. Self-discard. Yeah. All right. Red black's actually pretty easy. It is a mechanic that already belongs to this color. I, I saw it on the screen. Oh, Madness. But you, that one I think you guess because you brought it up. Red green. Now, this is not something they do, but they gave it to this because in any other color combo, it's broken. Land Self-land destruction? What is really high on the storm scale? Storm? <laughs> yes, red, green is storm. It's, it's, green is where they're putting storm now because it's the only place they can put it that's balanced. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still not balanced. All right, uh, green, white is something, is, is their classic. You can guess this without knowing anything. Life about... King. No. What else did they do? Tokens. Nope. What else does green white do besides life gain and token? Plus one, plus one counters. Yeah, I guess. All right. 
White, black. Um, drain? Uh, no. Uh, remember that white, black card I just read? It's that. To return two small creatures or one big creature? Uh, Grave Recursion? Yes. Oh. Uh, I mean, that's just black. Yeah. Uh, blue, red. Burning? This is an old keyword you actually made a whole deck about for one of your psych classes. Uh, now I'm blanking on the word. The, 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 starts with the D. Um, Delirium. I think Delirium. you got it. But yes. Uh, <laughs> I like this one. Because all of them are general like keywords or something. But mm -hmm. black, green is blank or blank. You should know one of them. Life or death? No, like they're not related to each other. It's two keywords that this set has trample or unearth one is sacrifice so sacrificing your own things the other also starts with an s you want it's legendary it's a creature type i can know them squirrels oh okay uh white red it's what i want to do make a bad commander deck for losing the game yes modular <laughs> you want to know what uh blue green is junk it's literally you don't need to care you're in blue green yeah it's, it's like you're in blue green you just you just win you just win you're in blue green you win you a little out of the frame oh uh there we go as we move along more squirrels and a horrible fall a lot of angry people blossoming calm hmm. a little fairy offering uh from is that urza's legacy the hammer? I think so. The hammer? What are you talking about the hammer? I'm trying to remember. What set, set is that from? The background tells you what set that was a reprint of. Oh, oh. No, wait. Urza's what? Legacy is the Gears. It's one of the Urza sets, but um, I don't know which. Uh, it's the thing that can destroy things. It, it's one Ooh, of the Persist. Hmm. I like this card. It's a pretty good... Uh... Is it just straight up the, the keyword Persist? Uh, turn knowledge of Gears to the battlefield. Yeah, that's just straight up the keyword persist, but extended to only non-legendaries. Because mm -hmm. persist is when it would die if it has no minus one, minus one counters on it, return it to the battlefield with a minus one, minus one counter. Well, this one doesn't need, it can take back something that have minus one, minus one counters technically. I know, I know, but basically it's just yes, the keyword. Yes, and I think that's perfectly fine. Now we have, a with the new D&D &D set, we have a regular Manticore coming. It's pretty cool. Jewel Eyed Cobra has a lot of there's so many other Cobras out there. It must feel really like, I can do stuff. Sir, I not with Lotus Cobra around. You can't. Well, uh, I, I guess Candle Wax gives minus four, minus four. Some people don't, would disagree with that. Well, some people would say it adds four, if you know what I mean. Blessed Respite. Uh, shuffle to the graveyard in the library, and, and it fogs. Ooh, sketched. Ah. It's an outlast. That's cool. This one, this one kind of looks nice. You know, maybe maybe my uh, opinion on the sketch is turning around. Uh, mine is still like I'm not. I think I probably most of them want the original. Phone controls the island, and you control mountain. You may cast this <laughs> destroy an art. See, that's uh, more like the old school art of magic, and that would fit more with the old school border because it's a reprint of an old card. I know. I know. I don't I think there's any cards in the set that aren't liked. I don't. I think this is a very. I don't remember a lot of people liking this set. I could be completely wrong. I just never seen so many junk cards that have that symbol. Yeah. Um, I miss. I know they don't like it, but I miss cards that were very like. If you're playing blue, I don't like you. No. Instead, they just Ooh, decided. We've, this now gives us three of the of the suspend rares. We've yeah. got green. We've got red. And now we have white. Except see, green's the only one people would probably play. See, now they decided instead of being like, oh, if you're playing, like, Actually, blue is so blue strong. So we're going to make some stuff where it's like, if you're playing blue, you know, we're going to hate on you. Now they just decided, what if green was also blue? Also, what if white was not anything? And we, we decided to add the blue to green and just take everything is on from, the case from white. All right. Oh, another sketch. Another late to dinner. Bone I like the, uh, different art for bone shards. This one, though, this one goes if you go in morbid dark uh, theme. Ooh, no, no, sketch. two sketches. Sketch it's a good sketch. sign, Matt. It's a good sign. I don't know. 
I, I don't think it is, because it sounds like a pretty sketchy pack to me. Uh, I like the art on this guy. He's a skeleton who wants to look cool. He's just, he's just counting his bones. I don't think he's that terrible either. No. Probably not great, but like, shaman, skeleton, I think if you're... It if gets you draw. Mm -hmm. My eyes! <laughs> Why did I choose to make my eyes lightning? Mm. I like this, and especially, I bet if you drafted this, this would definitely be one I'd love to pick up. Because there are a lot of artifact creatures in this set. Yeah, but it does already have the evasion of flying. True, but still. And it's only a 1-1. One, one. But with all the thopters that could be made. Look, I like things I can poke with a shtick. I like my little 1-1s. One, yeah. Dock hand extortion. No, no, sorry. No. We're saying dock hand. I, was, I knew dock hand. Dock hands, I wish they'd reprint dock hand extortionist. Ooh. Foil manticore. I don't think the dock hand is that much. We'll check though. And I'm, maybe I'm just thinking it's bigger I mean, in my head because I watch uh, Tolarian Community College. Well, because yeah. like it, it's very worthwhile in, um, you know, Murph. Uh, what is his name? Oh, what's Rishan? I wonder where that is. Still over two dollars. Nice. Oh, the old border isn't that much either. Yeah. I mean, neither of us play Merfolk, so not yet. Boop. Back to Zilla. Oh, do you want to open one now? You want to open one now? No. Say, say the magic word. Squirrels. I was looking for banana, but that's okay. Close enough. You remember what happened last time I said banana? I got a really cool hat. No, it was the other. Was that the, the banana time or was the... Uh... Camellios, yes. I didn't know if that was Camellios or Valstrax. That was banana. All right. What do we got, Matt? We got some commons that we Calibrate, probably won't care. Flourishing Strike, Angry Reaver. Oh, I like the full caps. Kill, kill for Mogis. He's a mute. He's a mute. Soul of Migration. I'm about to create two 1-1 one -one birds with flying and evoke. Okay. Creepy little thing. Yeah. Bone Shark. Bone Shark. Is ready. He's a manity. Artifact land. Ooh, another old border. And that. Hey, you want to take it? Da -da. Ignore that. I didn't know. Healer's flock. All right. Another fly essence. All right. Another fun arc bound person who I actually think is not half bad. On the field, put a plus one plus one counter. You could you control an artifact. Three for two two first strike that has some more greed. Oh, fucking. Oh. There's that sentinel. And I'm pretty sure that's a pricey one. So let look. Let uh, look. Let look. Grammar. $17. So still. Gammer. Yeah, this has been a pretty good box. Better than most of mine. I mean, this, this whole set is, is quite solid. Mm -hmm. um, There's a lot of good stuff in this set. Usually when I open these boxes, I get maybe like mostly five dollar cards at most. I mean just cover that one I mean, some just Japanese alts. Just the fact that they reprinted the fetches alone makes it a solid set. That is true. Jade Avenger. Bushido. Everyone's favorite mechanic. Oh yeah, Bushido. That's why they don't go back to um Kamagawa, because Bushido was too broken. Mm-hmm. Bloodhound. Facts. Bloodhound. Bloodhound. He's a blue damned. Mine collapse. This is the rock fall. Everyone dies, Matt. This is what I'm talking about. So it needs to Except, kill more people. Yeah, it has to kill everyone. Uh, upheaval. I Everyone's love favorite card. I would love it so much. I'll finish my thought later. <laughs> I'll finish my thought later. Okay, the original regular Scalding Tarn. Those are old borders. It's a forty dollar card. And I got when I picked up a Scalding Tarn, it was sixty, and that was considered super low. 
Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's the most pricey fetch, I think. Uh, so do we make back our money in the back box? We oh, might what? have at this point. Oh God. Well, no, we haven't. We're we're like we probably pulled another at least sixty. I'm pretty sure we did. If we count, every, if we we count everything, yeah. the challenge is if you can do it in, in less than like ten. All right. Well, it, it, I mean, really, what simply matters is just do you get the things you, you want? We, yeah. Oh, and here's another. We didn't see this guy yet. Just look at him. He just he He's makes so clues cool. too. He just. Yeah. What was I even saying? <gasps> it's it's more food out. Now, I really like this one because he investigates, but he's like a bloodhound. Mm -hmm. And it's just, this looks like an old school drawing like I'd seen Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I didn't notice the flavor texts are telling you what they wanted. Creature is a bloodhound formed entirely of water. The cookbook! It's an easy, it's a piece of cake to make a pretty cake. But uh, from this cookbook, you'll need some demons. And it's maybe the way you make it. Okay. Be careful. Sorry, I I, old, I can't know. Old, old school board wipe. It old, was so good. Such an old school board wipe. Oh yeah, never else disc. Beautiful. Ooh. Uh, when a player casts a spell of no color mana, was spent to cast it, countered it. Oh, so this is this is. Oh, so you like playing artifacts? I'm gonna put in my artifact deck. <laughs> Logic. Oh. There you go, Matt. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this ravenous squirrel. You ever see a squirrel eat a eat a snake? No, no one has. This is called fiction. I want to double check now, looking at the sketch cards I have in here. He's got a human arm in his little hole, squirrel hole. I got. He's got a human arm in this tree there, packed away. Yeah, that makes sense. This thing ate a person. Intent. Magic has made a greater gar Well, it says right on here, Matt. Greater and a lesser Gargons. The reference. We want you to design an average one. Yeah. Now I got we gotta go back and look at all these sketch cards. I never no one ever pointed out. Mood. Oh, that's why the thing says mood. It's from the designers. Oh. Saying like the mood of this card is a friendship that can outlast death. It's not them being it's not them going like big mood. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's just not them being like, hello, fellow children. Mood. Am I right? Except that's how you're going to read it. Oh, that's no, that's how I'm going to read it every time. But at least I know they weren't trying to pull that nonsense. <sighs> All right, like here, intent. This card prevents you from casting multiple spells per turn, but awards you for being for your restraint. <laughs> Action. Show an imp that's playing a uh, kitchen help for Asmore, the undead cook. But that's on that I one. really like that the the like that that I love there. I love that because well, that's no what I really like is that surrounded like, by abundance of nature I just I just love that they give that kind of insight into the designer's mind being like this is what we're looking for action I really like that show a frog samurai who's a master swordsman skilled and agile he I like how they have to specify make sure he's skilled and agile <laughs> he stands above four feet tall and wields a, a, a how do you say that? Daisho? Daisho. Is that just a thick, thicker katana? I don't know. Um, you know what the problem, though, is with the mood ones? Like, if we saw this first, it says mood, a friendship. Well, yeah, we, you, you I don't... first think the hello, fellow children. No, mood. but if you go over there, find the card that had the mood thing before. I think it might have been a squirrel card. It was a, yeah, it was, uh, here, it was underground. I don't know why, but it's just because of the Kermit, maybe because it was the was he was like, Mood, he's the Pied Piper of Squirrels. Like, we just sort of just went straight to the... Ch I don't know why. I just feel like... It seems so obvious when I read those, but yeah, when I read that one, we were like, no, that's... It's totally them going with... Well, it's because we didn't understand the purpose of the sketch cards. Actually, is there any more sketch cards in the foily? I do so. No, I think we got one that was... Uh, the black card that I thought was... Well, oh, there's well, Esper there's Sentinel. one. Yeah, let's see what he says. This guy. Oh, but he doesn't have flavor text. All right, Esper Sentinel. Action. Using the reference as inspiration, we'd like you to design a soldier who's a similar mix of flesh and urethrum. Magic found only on Esper. Okay, so they literally just said a soldier version of the, what's usually on that Ethereum. Point. Ethereum, sorry. Flesh and Ethereum. So we'll pay more attention to those sketch cards. That instantly makes them a lot more interesting to me. Maybe like, Yeah. Ooh. You'll like this. Look. 
goblin and Aquaman. It's in your colors. Mm -hmm. And it's old school border. Uh, hunting pack. Fractured Sanity. Each opponent mills 14 cards, and if you cycle it, they mill four. Okay. Crap. Detective crap. Crap. We still haven't found that squirrel legendary, though. Kind of thing. And if we don't, this box is worthless. Yeah, burn, all, burn everything. Now you gotta burn it. Burn it all. Burn it all. Who needs... Who needs, you know, freaking Arid Mesa and Scalding Tarn? Ooh, these guys are creepy. When you could They're get from one of my favorite sets, and by that I mean my favorite cards from the set. The new. Oh, wait, no, never mind. She's from the gate, not, not the lightning bolt. But I think there are a bunch of silvers from the set. The background, the lightning bolt. Yeah, I, I don't remember the, the set that had the most silvers. Fortune's Flames. Mm -hmm. Flying. When it attacks, choose a number between one and five, flip that many coins for each flip you win. Damn. Draw a card for each you lose, deals two damage to you. If you won five flips this way, you may cast spells from your hand this turn without paying costs. Uh, you're gonna you know, the thumb. you know, if I ever play this, I'm hey, only hey, Jerry. yeah, I'm only ever picking five. Well, yeah, but hopefully, you have the, the, the thumb out too. How many times have I said the phrase go big or go home? Uh, 256, 7 if you count just now. Okay, good. You, you added in the extra for just now. I was just I was just waiting to see if you would... I like this card. It's a reference... An old Sinkhole. Remember that card? Old Sinkhole? There's a card called Sinkhole. It's just... It's a, the Black Destroy Land. Oh. So this is... Like, that's... Black shouldn't have that. So it would make it a bit more specific. And it huh. messes with cards that are colorless. So it still hits things that are, you probably want to hit. Yeah. This I'll is this the is the goif. tribal we wanted. Yeah, yeah, tribal goif. The tribal everyone had been totally asking for. Seal cleansing, another classic. Ooh, Kabu. I didn't remember seeing this one. Territorial Kabu. That the... sounds. That's not an old card, is it? No, I think this is a new. Look, man, it has dumb. dumb yeah, no, no, no. It, it definitely, by the look of it, it's not. It, that just sounds. Familiar. Um, I actually like this. It comes oh, in my phone on me to look it up. It comes in as a two-two, hypothetically, and you can discard a card to draw a card whenever it attacks, or exile a card from a graveyard. Okay, that's not bad utility. And look, a black zombie dragon. That's right. No, no, no. Give me it. Give me it. You can discard the next one. I like tokens. I'll, I'll let you make a let you make a you guys make a wild guess. Is my opinion. We already went over this earlier in the stream. <laughs> well, I want to restate it because I hate it. That peaked. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, this is. I wonder if this is actually just a reprint. Ghostlit Drifter. Yeah, this looks. I mean, it it I had the art and channel is definitely from Kamigawa. Doesn't sound familiar. Uh, old butter squirrel. It's a squirrel noble. It's a squirrel lord. And look at that art. It fits. It fits. There you go. You're welcome. It's a squirrel lord. Uh, I love him. Look at his little horns. I don't care what else you have in that pack. <laughs> look at his little horns. And he's a noble. He's a noble. You have to make a noble deck. He's a no <laughs> noble tribal. <laughs> Ooh, another mythic. But I don't think it's one. I don't. I never signed on Draco. I, don't, I wasn't uh, a fan of the Draco card. Uh, it cost well, two Draco is an old card. Yeah, you I know, know him, right? Yeah. I know him. I know, I know. He's a dragon. Yeah. I know him. I know him on a personal level. We I mean, we've hung out from time to time. I'm not the greatest person. You know. Didn't you kind of like? Try to distance yourself from him because he like he always went to the most party. expensive restaurants yeah. and, and, then, and stuff. Then you went to that one party together, and he was like really weird. Like he was like, "Oh, this is it." He tried really to introduce cool. me to Bolas. Yeah. yeah, and then he just like walked off and left you alone with yeah. Bolas, and like he would he was just not a good friend. 
<laughs> Anyways. You're just not a good friend. <laughs> Cyan and Draco flying when each creature you control has vigilance if it's white. It gives something that if you have every color, like if yeah. you're going full color. I guess I could do that in, in slivers, but I still feel like I could just throw an Eldrazi monument or something. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of the thing. The old uh, Draco, he was like 16 cost, but he cost two less for every basic land type you had. Mm -hmm. um, so the point was to play him in five color and then, you know. Oh, come on. All right. We continue forth. Break ties. Oh, that's actually like... That's not Urza, but uh, his friend, and uh, because the daughter gets killed, and then the friend gets angry and wants to kill him. Mm -hmm. That's apparently. Mishra? I don't think it was Mishra. I can't remember the names. I just know. I think that's where it happened in Talarian, Talarian, the Talarian College. Mm -hmm. It actually got nuked in his anger. Ooh. I could be wrong. There are better uh, lore people out there for magic that could better explain it. Oh hey. Wait. Oh, she is. They're famously the first card to create a ban list in Magic. Yeah. Um, the first time they brought, I think, Commander to the Magic uh, HQ, someone made a deck around her and started killing everyone in, like, two years. Yeah, after. when they, they were, she was literally, oh, we're in the catacombs, hell yeah. And another fetch. Yeah, like, when they first made Commander, um, like, one of the people behind it, the first thing he did was he made a deck around Braids, and immediately they're like, this deck is, this format his hasn't even been formed yet, and we need a ban list because of you. Thanks. All right, quick look at the catacombs. What? Uh, probably a good 30 bucks. 35. There you go. Yeah. Too far. I didn't think that one would be so high. Yeah, Verdant's actually pretty high. I guess Grusin's Green's bigger now. Well, no, no, not even. Verdant's always been one of the higher ones. Um, like the top have been Misty, uh, uh, the red, blue, air, not air, Misty. Ooh, um, a black, I guess this. Scalding Tarn's always been kind of like the top. Um, blue, black, I'm blanking on what it's called. Uh, Old school so, Tai Chi. So blue, black it. got reprinted more, so it wasn't as hot. It got dropped down a lot. But before all its reprinting, or after all its reprintings, uh, I think the top ones were. Scalding Tarn, Misty, and Verdant mm. were like the top three. Master of Death. Wait, hold on. Uh, this is a g look at his ladder. Yeah, it's made out of bones and hands and shit. No, and that's and just straight up a per people. Oh no! Yeah, no, no. That yeah. Okay, no, never mind. That's just straight up people. That's straight up people. Uh, there's there's a dude reaching across there. Yeah. Uh, when you answer battle, surveil two, and at the beginning of your upkeep, if it's in your graveyard, you may pay one life to return to your hand. He just, he's like, I'm out of here. here. Move over. I feel like I keep, like, because I'm, like, leaning over, and I feel like I keep, like, slowly pushing you out of frame. Just like everything in life. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you get. All right. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm going to just take the rest of them out. Yes, because we have... How many do we have left? Seven packs. I'm gonna so I'm gonna open this one, then we're gonna start going back and forth. I like that. And right. I like opening packs. Actually, we're starting going back and forth now. I'm just starting. Okay, I know. All right. So we're gonna go through all the common stuff, unless there's some pretty altar variation. Ooh, we haven't seen this guy yet. Legion of Anger. Sacrifice to explore. Okay. Junkwinder. Look at that. And look back. Perfect. He's talking with the squirrel. You know, he's like, would you like something shiny? Hey, your squirrel. That, that's what the so shiny card. Hey, your squirrel. Would you like to pick a coin from my chinny chin chin? Affinity for tokens. <laughs> that's why he's talking to the squirrel. Uh, Ren's Hun Hydra. All right. At this point, like, they've made enough Hydras. You could legit make a uh, Hydra tribal deck. I already No did. problem. I already have a list online for you to look at. Oh yeah. That's I you wanna know who I made leading that deck? Who? Um what's her name? The one everyone hates who proliferates. Oh, Atraxia? Yeah. Cause I like Atraxia. I think I like the I do too. The design and stuff and Oh, I, I love her. Um also I love Atraxia. what I love about the most too is people would hate on the commander and in the Hydra deck. Honestly, you're like, okay. Well, like you, you have so many at the other... very least a deck, like if you're playing with someone who's already seen the deck. 
The thing is, most people, they see a track set, they're like, that's a deck I gotta hate on. In a higher deck, it's like, yeah, she's she's great and synergizes with it, but she doesn't need to be hated. No, well, no, the, the thing is, I'm fine with her being hated. I love a deck where the commander can be hated and you don't care. Well, that's what I, I, that's how I used to, before they made the Tuck World, that's how I used to try to make my deck. Speaking of people walking on other dead people. <laughs> He's like, I see your ladder and I raise you a bridge. <laughs> You know what uh, the bridge they're talking about that just made? You, you just have to keep interrupting with fetch lanes, don't you? You just have to keep interrupting I, with fetch lanes. I am now always going to wait until you start talking before I reveal the rare cards. You just gotta interrupt me with the fetch lanes. <laughs> oh, oh, God. So let's see. Oh, uh, my bitch. I am learning. Uh, here it That's goes. regular, but you yeah, can well, If I scroll down, I can see it's below. Well, here, I'll just flip it onto. Like, I know on mobile, it always says it right there. Um, books. I think at this point, we've we've crossed the threshold of. Um... I'm almost certain we have. It's just. All right, Matt. As I said, hold on. There are. All right. I'm taking those three. All right, you ready, Matt? Pack me, brother. Brother, the packs are too strong. My strongest packs oh, are too strong. How did he got that spider? You. Yeah, Funnel Web Reckless. With Morbid. Pretty morbid. Manticore. Pirate dropping all his stuff. Second token, he gains flying to end turn. All right. Jeweled Eyed Cobra. Ooh. I actually really like this in Old Border only because, like that, I said, that, I was telling him before. That fits with the Old Border. Like I said, it's based on an old card, so I yeah. like that's in the Old Border. And like I said, like the only problem I have with the Old Borders is when the art doesn't mesh, which mm -hmm. happens a lot with the new art, but like that art, it meshes. And so that art, it's great. My eyes are lightning. Ooh. Intent. Most Esper Sphinxes have minimal lingry. Filigree. Filigree, whatever filigree that is. means. Enhancements. Filigree. But this Sphinx has been ex extensively enhanced. So it's got more cool stuff. Yes. Penny for artifacts, cascade. Ooh. That could be a good card. Especially, like, you drop it with the affinity cost, but still get the seven cascade. Mm-hmm. Very solid. Very solid. Ooh. Is there an orb? Oh, hey! Ah. You ah. got your, your general! Ah. Okay. Oh, man. And a foil version of my general. You want to sleep Thank first? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank All right. You very much. All right. Let's, let's check these out now. Thank you. Boom. All right, so Marsh Flats right there, 20 bucks. Chatterfang Retro. Pretty this, Well, this isn't retro. I know, but uh, full foil. Or... I'm finding all his other versions. Usually, oh, no, no. Uh, they don't list foil separately. Just I'm trying to find his regular version. Oh, uh, it might be a huge drop down price. Usually, it's not that much. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just going to search for his name. Yeah, just type in his name. There. The s squirrel general. Up one. Uh, oh, wait. Regular is right there. It's the price. <laughs> no, that's pre release. Oh. This is the regular one. All right. He's at eight bucks. And foil is 20 bucks. Ah, that's still pretty good. Yeah. You're. I've got this box already had two cards. You're like, I don't know if I'd buy that version of it because it's too pricey. Now you're like, well, I no. Mean, I got my squirrel and monkey. <laughs> like, I got my spirit animals. You, you so truly speak. did. You truly so did. Speak. We need a fox and a panda to complete the cycle. Yes. All right. Well, the fo my my fox already got printed as a partner card. 
The white, uh, oh, the white right, red fox. Right, but who's the panda? That's been, yeah, that's yet to be seen. Have there been a panda in magic? I'm not counting the tokens that person did. I like this I one in the old border. It looks like such a common old border card. Yeah, that meshes perfectly with the old border. Well, I think they mapped that one. I love. Probably, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they, after the first time, they did the old borders because they just did cards people liked in old borders. Yeah. But now they did like, okay, let's actually try to make it aesthetically. At least. <laughs> Action! Use the original art of Colossal Dreadmaw's inspiration, design an illusion version of the dinosaur. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> It's like, we already have a version of this. This is just the, the illusion version. Make it blue. Oh my god, I remember having... I We have original Fire Nice. Yeah. Oh my god, I remember... It was still was until to recently. Play. I think it we was used until... to play back in the early, nine, or early 2000s. Well, still, we had cards. Yes, I still love... That's where them. my original Vertiloth comes from. I love the fact that with this card, mm -hmm. even then, I assumed you could cast both. Yeah, I used to think that mana didn't drain out of your mana pool after turns. Well, you were just ahead of your turn time. Well, no, I was six. <laughs> no, you were ahead of your time. You didn't know you had Omnith yet. Oh, okay, fair, fair. Oh, I know. This is one another another one people really want for enchant stuff. Yeah, because it's I mean normal enchantress cast enchantment draw card plus life. Leave that, please. Um. Yeah. 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 She's she's pretty. She's pretty uh, good. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how... Uh, so I, I said, I don't think I can get the sliver from this. What was the sliver? The first sliver, Old Border. Oh. Uh, it's not even listed here in Modern Horizon. You're only missing one of the old Fetchlands to complete the set. You're only missing Misty. <laughs> All right. Okay. So last packs. The only thing I want is a Misty... And, uh, uh, well, full art Cabal Coffers would be great, but we got one, so I'm not going to complain. Um, I remember buying Misty as a single. It was... It, uh, Yavi Maya would be, the I think, the hit we want. I think this is the card we want, man. If we can get the, that in Old Border. Oh, yeah. Misty, I think, might have been one of the first, like, really expensive cards I bought as a single. And definitely the first single... Like, expensive single fetch I ever bought. And I, I remember I picked it up at a convention. For 90 bucks. As far as Urga Saga, I expected that to be disgusting. Which, I'm honestly glad, like, I don't mm -hmm. know if you've ever said this on stream, I know both of us feel the same way, where I'm like, I picked it up for 90 bucks, now you can get it for way cheaper. I'm happy about that. Oh yeah, that. no, no, no. My, I'm not my a... favorite card is Sliver Queen, which is a reserve list card. If they were someone told me, like, guess what, now we're going to put it in every pack so it's worth one cent, I'm going to be like, so yeah. that means more people playing Slivers? That's great. Yeah, I'm like, oh, more people can get Misty? Love it! Bring down the price. I don't care. Yes, that we're celebrating about day. getting expensive cards right now. And it's not being hypocritical because we're like, this is a cool, fun find. But Well, we're celebrating because it's like, hey, cool, you got the card people are searching for. But at the same time, it's like... My, if they the amount it, of fun I would have they, would not be significantly reduced because it's easy to get. Yeah. Oh, yeah. classic Chatterstorm. You're actually going to have a lot of classic cards in that deck. Scuff, scuff, scuff. Ooh, Ah, now this legendary has been I referred to before. Do you know what card? I don't. It's one of the flip cards that flip into a land because it's apparently uh, this person's cannons is what fired and made the land. The cannons this dude has on his shoulders. Or, or, and, or and the woman, I, I can't really tell. I don't know. But yeah, that's where that card came from. Abiding Grace? Oh, that actually, that's pretty nice. Oh! Okay, full art shardless. Uh, hold on, I just gotta be careful just in case. And a regular Esper. <laughs> Matt, you're just like, I'm going home big. Go big or go home? Alright, I'm curious, how much is, is uh, full art shardless? Oh my god, I love the full art shard list. I mean, it's only two bucks, but still. Let me switch over to webcam. I, oh wow, really? Only two bucks? It's beautiful. Oh, it's exquisite. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's only. I'm surprised it's only two bucks. When the old one is uh, 30. Well, no, sorry. No, that's a judge promo. Okay, that makes sense. It's a judge promo. Mm -hmm. Old one's five. But still, and Esper. Yeah. All right, all right. 
feel like I have so much to live up to. Um, what do you mean you have so much to live up to? You opened Monkey. <laughs> Fair enough. You've got Monkey. Lens Flare. You have Return to Monkey. The spell shows a creature being damaged by powerful rays of light. Yeah, that did that. Ooh, another Jade Avenger. Mind Collapse Old School. Strike it rich. Oh, I like this. It's just creature. one per treasure. Makes sense. Necromatic. I mean, I don't know if I'd play it in anything. I, it just purely refunds it. Oh, well, no, because you can bank it. And if you had something that made multiple tokens. I could guess. Like, I'd rather, in general, I'd rather play a cantrip. All right, here's our repeat, Matt. Uh, Enchantress. No, Enchantress presence. Well, it, it, it basically an Enchantress. He's like 77 cents. Yes, yeah, still, I am excited about him. Diamond Lion. Now we'll see if everyone thinks uh comes true of him becoming a super expensive card. I, I, uh, I don't know. How much is he? Two or three? He's two. Two. And then, so on your third turn is when you can do his thing. I mean, like, in something like EDH, if you pull the hand of turn one, land, soaring, lion, you could go off. You could really pop off, especially I in um, Brea. In Brea, that could pop you off. Like No, you, you couldn't play her. She's four colors. No, not to play Brea that turn, oh. but just specifically in a Brea But deck. you discard your hand. There's a turn one com uh, infinite combo win uh, with Brea using Lion's Eye Diamond. So chances are with that, you may be able to get turn two combo. Okay. Well, that's too slow. <laughs> All right, Matt, last packs each. Let's go. All right, we're dueling packs. Open them both. Here. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't do well with dueling. All, All right. right, this is mine. I'm already winning with So Shiny. Yeah, you're, you're going to have the shiny find. Ooh, I have hard evidence, though. You're throwing your stuff out. Yeah. You, you have Detective Crab. Flourishing mm -hmm. Strike versus the Reaver. I got an old school Bone Shards. All right. All right. Pulling ahead, pulling ahead. <gasps> We're in sync. Cheers. I'm not, I cannot take a drink with that like you can with one hand. All right, Disciple. Ooh, good versus evil. Who will win? That's what we're here to find uh -oh. out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Artifact land. Artifact land. I'm tying it up. <laughs> you pull back ahead. Okay, I like yours better. He's cute. Yeah, golden fish. Another artifact land. Ooh, Ooh. but you got. Uh, but I got modular. modular. That's. <gasps> oh. Or else. You, you pull a solid lead there. I'm sorry. Read his. Matt, read the words on it. Action. There's a squirrel who eats everything. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely pulling a solid lead right now. All right. Ooh, but I got a squirrel from sanctuary. Ooh, I mean, you haven't got the lead, but. Okay, okay. Wait. I'm not on my old card yet. How did you... All right, hold on. I think you might have taken an extra card somehow because mm. that's my old card because it has the printed thing there. Oh, maybe You might just have multiple rares. Your old oh. card. Well, I don't know. Maybe because I have a foil in here. Something? I maybe. Know. Uh, Protector. Gain life. You can put that many counters on creatures. On each... He is good. But I got a, a mythic. Token. Yeah. I got Torah. And then his little and apprentice. Foil. You got something shiny. I remember everyone's just like, why did you add this card? And apparently the story is, yeah, the thing that was supposed to be there wasn't or got moved, and it was sort of like, we didn't know what else to put. What, you mean the card that was supposed to be in that slot? Kind yeah. Of thing? So this oh. was like, ah, oh, this. Because there's like, there aren't like heavy wizards in this. Hmm. It was like a weird, very weird reprint. A lot of people were like, why is that? All right. I use it in um, uh, Tolerant. Right, but if, I mean it's uh it's his you know emergency escape. Alright. I do not think Dread Cantor, Matt, if you'd be so kind to, to find him. Mm hmm I mean, I'll give me the rest of the sleep cards. Yeah, I don't think he's worth much. Uh 
Oh, oops. Oh! No, he's worth a solid 10 bucks. Oh, wait, no, that's pre release. He's worth five bucks. Eh, that's good enough. It's over yeah. five. All right, so. I still. I, I don't know. I think I won. I think I got something shiny. In the end, though, Matt, if you'd be so kind to return to the camera. Return? Oh. Yeah, overhead camera, you mean? I was like, return to the camera. I'm not off. I'm not at All place. right, look at this. We got this cool guy, this cool thing in foil, two Esper Sentinels. Um, a whole lot of fetch lands. That's a, that's a easy hundred there. Solitude. Why am I putting solitude off screen? Want to? Can we zoom out? Uh, we can, but it's it's right, fine. Whatever. The sword. Yeah, this sword guy was just sword. pretty, but yeah. Lord General and Commander. My new commander. And two beautiful full arts. I say this box was win. But you can't forget. <laughs> Look at his wings! <laughs> now you can do to that camera. <laughs> All right. Well, this was a pretty good pull. Yeah. A lot of fun. <laughs> stuff. Yeah, definitely. Um, Especially the promo monkey. Mm hmm. Yeah. I was not expecting that. Um, so that's a here you go, Matt. I hope you enjoyed this gift. I will. I think that you, you'll be very happy with that now. Yeah. I'm not sure what you're gonna do with that for a deck. I'm also stealing Chatterfang here. You're welcome. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Tomorrow I will be continuing the Call of Cthulhu and see if I can get past that Shogoth. Um, and of course, keep tuning our channel. We just released some Kickstarter preview stuff. New podcast, really awesome, a little fun uh, chatting through that. But I warn you, if you listen to our podcast, there is a high chance of your wallet being emptied by Kickstarters or other board game purchases. So be on the lookout. Of course, you can... Emptied in a good way. You get some good stuff out of it. Well, it depends who you're asking. Anyways, of course, we're also here uh, from time to time, YouTube. We've got a fun Philly Instagram and, of course, Twitter. So... Wherever you find us, you can just search there or just go to roughworker.com. That pretty much will show you everywhere we are. Matt is not always there, but I'll probably to be here more when it comes to magic stuff yeah. or if I need another player because he's pretty good at that. A little chaotic at times, though. A bit too squirrely. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> good night, everyone. <laughs>